Hey everyone, what's up? This is Kubo, back at ya. And this time I went on finding exotic ships. And oh boy, I found some awesome first wave exotics. Even a squid, they are all first wave, so it's easy to get. I will show you how, so you better stay tuned for that. Also, a like on the video will be awesome as well. And if you're new here or haven't yet, consider subscribing for more. There's also a new disco server. Be sure to check it out in the description. There's a link to join. There's some awesome folks out there. We got a great community and I'm really happy to be one of them. One last thing for the new players to be able to travel to a certain location using a portal like the one behind me. You will need all your 16 glyphs unlocked and help how to find it. There will be a link popping up right now with a video to help you with that. So watch it and come back real quick. Okay. Let's go to the portal. And activate it and enter the glyphs. But before we do, this is the first ship was found on a live stream I did by Survival Bob and me. We kinda did it together. <laughs> you can check it out if you want. It will be in the description. He's an awesome friend of mine and a content creator. He's on my wall if you want to check him out. Feel free. Now let's enter the glyphs. It's in the Euclid Galaxy. The first one is a Diplo, a Rising Sun, an Umbrella, a Space Whale, a Triforce, times three, a tree, a diplo, a butterfly, a triforce, and the last one is gonna be a vortex. Okay, let's go. Whoop. And we arrived, as you can see, we were at the first wave system of the Q-Baller. I really like this one. Had to give up on one of my ships to keep it, but I really like it. Now, let's make sure to disable our multiplayer in the network settings for easy grabs and fly to the space station. And when you exit your ship, an auto save has been created, so let's reload. Then to trigger the first wave of the ships, just need to stay still for 45 seconds, give or take. And the four or five ships that will arrive first, this is the first wave. And this one arrives in one of them. And if not, just reload again. I'm just gonna speed it up for you. And there she is, look at that one. This is a nice one indeed. I really like it. That's why I called her the cube baller. Really awesome to fly with. Really good stats on her. The hyperdrive and the damage is pretty good. But every reload you do, you will get a ship with different stats on her. So consider that if you want to chase after the highest stats, I'm gonna buy it. Let's pick the option to buy it. I'm gonna reload after that because I want my ship back, but for you, if you have free space, it's gonna say buy this ship and add to the collection. Okay, now let's go up to the scrapping station. I wanna show you what you can get when you scrap this ship. So let's pick the option of scrapping and pick it again to verify okay now every time you scrap a ship you will get 70 percent of the money worth you bought the ship now let's check in our exosuit as you can see we got a lot of stuff that you can sell but the s-class upgrades do keep and the augmentation storage now let's go to the closest merchant and pick the sell option there you can sell your upgrades for nanites as you can see every one of them is almost 500 so every reload you can make a thousand nanites it's awesome by itself and some of the ships i will show you today you can make even more and the storage augmentations we got as well keep those and keep one of the ship upgrade it using those storage augmentation you can upgrade every slot in that ship to the max 
it will tell you when it's enough and after that go here and scrap it and the value of this ship will be high above 100 million units so you can get a lot of units and nanites from scrapping the ships and those ships i'm going to show you right now are awesome for scrapping and to earn units so do keep it in mind so you're probably asking by now what about more ships are you going to show us those and the answer is heck yeah